Lecture 11 in Buddha's Eyes on the World Buddha's knowledge and view in the Sutra on the difference of the retributions of the karmas for the Shojia elder proclaimed by Buddha. Lecture 11, The Karmic Causes of Retributions of Being Animals, 1. The Buddha tells us that there are ten kinds of karma that cause us to suffer the retributions of being the animals. What particularly surprised and shamed myself after studying this passage is that if I were to suffer the karma based on my own creation alone, I would not even qualify to be a beast. You may not believe it, but after studying the following teachings of the Buddha, you will understand why I say so. And maybe you are the same as me, not having to say to be a human being, not even possessing the qualification to be a beast. Let's learn more about which ten kinds of karma are the causes of the retributions of being the animals. The Buddha told the assembly who heard the Dharma that there are ten karmas that can cause beings to be rewarded as animals. The first is the medium level of evil karma created by the body, the second is the medium level of evil karma created by the mouth. The third is the medium level of evil karma created by the mind. The fourth is the evil karma arising from greed. The fifth is the evil karma arising from anger. The sixth is the evil karma arising from delusion. The seventh is destroying and cursing all beings. The eighth is causing annoyance to sentient beings. The ninth is giving impure things. The tenth is engaging in evil sexual intercourse. With these ten karmas, one is rewarded with animal retributions. In the following, we will study the Buddha's teaching in the Sutra, and learn from it article by article, with special emphasis on reflecting and analyzing what are the words and actions that we usually tend to ignore, but will bring us animal retributions. First of all, let's look at articles 1 to 3, which include all the medium evil karma created by our body, mouth and mind, that is, when our body, mouth and mind create killing, stealing, lust and false words, the power of our mind is not very big, not very strong, but only medium, and the frequency of creation is not very high. Even for such moderate bad karma, the result is to end up in the pile of animals, not to mention that if we create a heavy bad karma at every turn, we are not even qualified to be an animal, and we can only go to hell. Articles 4 to 6 are the three fundamental afflictions that trigger us to create all kinds of bad karma, that is to say, the karma that triggers the body, mouth and mind are all created. For example, I am greedy, I want to eat pork, I want to eat that I want money, so I steal from others, I want the illusion of touching each other of men and women, so I want to lust. The bad karma created by the affliction of greed is not strong, but only moderate, and the moderate bad karma caused by the affliction of greed, then you will fall into the animal retribution. In a similar way, the bad karma caused by the affliction of anger, for example, if I hate that person, I will kill that person, if I hate that person, I will steal his things, not because I like that thing, I have to have that thing, because I hate him, I will take away his things. That is the karma of theft created by the affliction of the anger. For another example, I do not know that husband and wife and family members should treat each other with respect, and I often treat outsider with courtesy, but when I face to my family members, I think we are family and can behave as I please, and I can say whatever I want to my family members and even complain and control them. This is the karma of the harsh speech and anger, created by the affliction of ignorance. Even if my words are not so vicious and my anger is not so strong, but I am just doing the moderate bad karma, I will still fall into animal retribution, and if I am strong in anger, I will go to hell. To be continued.